creatures in the night. They never learn. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Suddenly, I heard a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. What are you talking about? You heard me rapping, right? The trespass. And you owe me a fucking new door. I'm looking for something in an engagement ring. Yeah. Gold. Uh, you're looking for a coroner. Shit for brains. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit on me. Shit on me. Shit on me! Mr. Gideon. Who? You're not paying attention. I repeat, a gold engagement ring, yes? It was pawned here a year ago by a customer of yours named Tintin. He confided in me before he ran out of breath. Former? What are you doing? Don't you know this game? Oh, what the are you talking about? I like the rings. I'm playing with the rings. Look at that. a metal box. It's under the shelf there. Take your fucking rings out. Take your fucking rings. You shoot them. And you choke on them. You son of a bitch. Look, it goes up to the attic. One chance to live. Look, man, take anything you want. Thank you. Take anything! Now you're gonna tell me where to find the rest of Tim Tim's little party pal. Let's forget, they all hang out at the pit. Or T-Burst, or Potato Heads hang out there. And Fun Boy, he lives here upstairs, all right? Fun Boy. A whole jolly club. Stop, stop, jolly Jesus. pirate nickname. Stop, Jesus. Hold still. Each one of these is a life. A life you helped destroy. Come back now. Don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Your job will be to tell the rest of them that death is coming for them. Tonight. Tell them Eric Draven sends his regards. Walk out of here. They're gonna race your sorry ass. You're nothing but street grease, you hear? Street grease, you motherfucker. Is that gasoline I smell? No, man. No! 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 the name for God on the lips and hearts of all children. Do you understand? Morphine is bad for you.
your daughter is out there on the streets waiting for you. Ooh, man, I fucking love that movie. Ah, uh, I watch it pretty much once or twice a month. Uh, ever since I was a teenager, man, it's one of the best fucking movies ever. It's m- my favorite fucking movie. Um, it was just such a great. It had a great soundtrack. Great. I mean, just the movie was fucking awesome. Um, and I just recently found out that they're remaking it. Why? Why remake a movie that's already fucking perfect? You know? That's kind of like slapping the... It's it's slapping Brandon Lee in the face. It's pissing on his grave, really. You know? Because... <clears throat> why? I, Hollywood, stop with the fucking remakes, okay? I, you know... Especially cult classics. Now... I'm kind of being hypocritical here since I I praise the the reboot of it. But it is different than the original it. You get what I'm saying? Like I like movies where they give a more in-depth story. The original it flashback from childhood to adulthood, from childhood from to adulthood. And it's great all on its own too. I I own that. I uh, shit. I even own that damn thing on laser disc. Yes, people. I have a laser disc player. I'm that. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hipster. Maybe I like collecting vintage stuff. But for any of you youngsters out there that don't know what a laser disc is, it is pre DVD. <laughs> but it's bigger than a, uh, a vinyl record. And it's heavy as fuck. And it's got two sides. Which means every movie has two sides. It has an A side and a B side. <laughs> well, it has four of the laser disc. And, uh, I mean, I'm not against all remakes like I have remakes at my house you know in my house I'm a huge fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street series I also have the the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street I thought it was a good movie I like the the movies if it's going to be a remake it needs to have a more in-depth story as to behind the character as to how and why they became the way they became uh like um Planet of the Apes. I love the old 60s, 70s, and 80s movies. And, you know, I have all every one of them on Blu-ray. And, and, and I love it. I love every, even the fucking Mark Wahlberg one. Because the Mark Wahlberg, Tim Burton version is the movie that these new ones are being based to go towards. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, uh, the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War of the Planet of the Apes all lead up to Planet of the Apes with you know, the Tim Burton version. If you ever just timeline that shit, it's kind of like when you're watching Fast and Furious and you know that that uh, Tokyo Drift is actually chapter, I think it was six, chapter six or chapter seven of the franchise, if you follow that, blah, blah, blah. But remaking The Crow, I don't see why. And it, they're even doing, I mean, they've already cast the new Eric Draven, and I just, I don't get it. Why? That movie is fucking perfect. I mean, there is no fucking better movie than The Crow and 
it's funny because I was I was telling a joke about this a couple of years ago when Deadpool came out. All my friends at work and shit are all excited about Deadpool because Deadpool was supposed to be the first the first comic book rated R movie based off of a comic book character. And I was like, no, that's not true. And I'm like, yeah, it is. I'm like, no. The Crow was the first rated R comic book movie. And, they're, and then they're like, oh, forgot about that. See, that's what makes it a cult classic. Because it, it didn't gross big in the theaters. But after, and then after the, the, uh, after the news got out that, well, I guess it got out before the movie came out, but Brandon passing away because of a uh, a faulty stage gun. Oh, man. Sad times. Because he was going to do the uh, the sequels. And I think there was supposed to be a trilogy. Um, but it didn't happen because of his untimely death. And so, what I just played was a couple of my favorite scenes from the movie. I mean, the whole movie is fucking classic. I mean, it's great. Everything about that movie. The soundtrack, everything. And um, I played two two scenes that I, I think are real important. Because it starts with the, 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 the first hunt of after he figures out who he is why he's there and and so on and so on anyway before that you heard pigs and pineapples by the altar boys now the altar boys uh are a mixture of dog fashion disco um ryan dunn from jackass rest in peace and Johnny Knoxville on some tracks, um, and Waylon from Mushroom Head. He's also involved with that band. And uh, sadly, they're not ever going to get back together because of the passing of Ryan Dunn. Um, I don't. I just. I, if you haven't heard this album, it's not really available anymore unless you find it on eBay or something. But you're gonna pay a fuckload of money, or if you can find it on like BitLord or some type of file sharing site. But physical copies are real hard to find, and um, it's 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 a unique album. It's not metal. It's rock. But it's somewhere between rock and folk and metal and I mean because they 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 use like violins and xylophones and you know just creative musical instrument instruments I guess. But before that, you heard "Blood and Wine" featuring Brock Lindo from Thirty Six Crazy Fists from a band called No Life, but have since changed their name to Heartsick. This is an earlier version of heart sick and uh i i think i thought the lyrics to the song is really cool and before that you heard fuck your kind by the band in death from their album the devil speaks they're currently on tour right now with uh oh shit i'll have to look online for it. uh it's it's a big band that they're on tour with and um let me see if I can't find out who they're touring with right now. I'm not sure. Um. Oh, fuck it. Just look up the band, In Death Band, and you'll be able to find who they're on tour with. I know it's a big band. And I just read up on this, and I was going to mention it. because I. Oh, anyway. And before that, you heard End of Silence from Skin Loud. Fucking badass song. So, yeah. Uh, if this goes good, I'm I'm gonna be. I need a a second person 
Um, like I said, I, I, I'm looking. I think I might have found 